Here, all right, here's the home run tracker, the ESPN home run tracker that you can look at if you're a baseball geek like I am. And uh, you look at, you know, for a long time, like back in the 13s and 14s, or this finally, this was, I think, introduced in about 14, the Royals weren't around. <laughs> and hit a lot of home runs. Now, now that you know they're about average for for hitting home runs. And here's where you get Osmer's home run. You can see is off his good friend Greg Holland, as they said. Um, uh, the true distance was 403 feet. The speed off the bat was 110 miles per hour. Elevation angles 25 degrees. Notice these elevation angles. They're all between like 24 to um, 30 degrees. There's very few that are like big loopers and they don't go very far because they're using up too much. Um, anyway, and the horizontal angle is, is uh, well, that's a big looping one too. So anyway, it was quite a shot. It was pretty cool. Um, so there you go on that. So anyway, let's get back to uh, so the field vision and all of those new stack cams that we've got. Now let's talk about energy, all right? And energy is, you're probably more used to calories for energy, um, but actually what we use in uh, physics is we use joules, all right? And the energy required to play basketball. One 200-pound person playing 12 minutes of full-court basketball will burn around 200 calories. In contrast, talking on the phone for 12 minutes will burn 19 calories. How many joules has the first ball player used in 12 minutes. So let's convert to joules. First of all, you need to know what the conversion is. And here's the conversion. All right, so joules to, actually calories to joules. Is, um, calories to joules is, there's 4,186 joules in one calorie. So what we do is, if I've got something that was... All right, so today on my run, I noticed that I burned a little... I did a 5K as fast as I could. Hey, I broke 30 minutes, so I'm happy with that. You know, I'm getting older. I used, Hey, back in the day, I could do... 1745, I think, was my fastest time in the Marine Corps for the three-mile run. But anyway, um, but I was 24 years old, so uh, they, it steadily got longer and longer. Now it's up around 33 when I'm really hustling. But anyway, um, it said I burned 576 calories. So how many joules is that? We might even do this problem. So... Basically, if one calorie is 4,186 joules, then I'd take 576 times 186, and I get 107,136 joules. Now, that number would be fine just to go ahead and put it in um, in uh, a number around 100,000. If it gets over a million, I'll say do it in scientific notation. Even if I say do it in scientific notation, you put it in in regular numbers, it'll still work. All right? And I forgot to ask you, okay, and don't forget, watch the Alex Gordon thing too. All right? So watch that little Alex Gordon. Um, I think I forgot to load that for you. All right? So let's move on now. Eight hundred thirty-six thousand joules. Wait a minute. Oh, I put 186. God, that made no sense. Man, I got to look at this. So if I go 576, I am so sorry. I should just quit. 4186 times 576. I thought that was way too small. Yeah, that's like 2 million joules. That's like two, four, one, 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 three, six joules. So this is uh, yeah, that's two point four e to the six joules. And but if you did write in the number of two million four hundred, don't put any commas. You'd be all right. Wow, that was terrible. 
Okay, energy from food. All right, I'm going to ask you about how much energy, how, how much, um, this is ener energy density thing here, but I'm going to ask you about um, on my run today when, when I burned 576 calories, the energy and the food that I ate or that I had last night, I had a triple beer, right? A new Belgian beer company. Um, I had their Tripel or their triple ale, which is really smooth, really good, pretty high alcohol content. I had two of them, 216 calories in that mug. Anyway, so this is interesting. Notice the energy density, in other words, the, the calories per grams is a lot smaller for, for TNT than it is for any of these other things. Okay. A lot of energy and fat. The problem is it's hard to break it down. It takes a lot of energy to break it down. It takes a long time for this to break down. This one breaks down instantly. And you get some interesting things. And so I wanted to watch, I want you to watch the gummy bears when they hit potassium chlorate. All right. And that reaction of food.